In this tutorial we present how to build a motor simulation in SimSpace. In the first step we create a new project and name it Tutorial SimSpace Simulation. Now we insert the FEM simulation component. We open the component space under Edit, Insert, Component and insert the PMSM interior FEM component from Simulation, Motor, Magnetic. Next we define the geometry for rotor and stator. For the stator we use stator interior 11 FreeCAD. You can find it in part, motor part, stator interior, FreeCAD. In the component space we select the rotor interior 28 Creo from part, motor part, rotor PM interior, Creo. For each motor part, standard materials are defined. You can find them in the material library container. In this project we want to use different materials than those default ones. As core material we insert M250, 35A, ISOVAC from material, metal, electrical steel. For the magnet we choose BMN, 42, UH, Bomatech. You can find this magnet in material, metal, magnetic alloy, neodym iron bore. After we have inserted all the required components we have to set the correct links and the material parameters. The function steel stacking and stator core and rotor core takes care of the conversion of the material parameters according to the stacking factor Ks. The function magnet gap adjusts the magnet material parameters that the gap between magnet and slot is taken into account. Now we change the geometry parameters of rotor and stator. Some of the parameters are linked to others, if we want to choose them freely we have to unlink the field. We can hit the run button to update the geometry with the new parameter values. In the preview tab of the geometry you can check the result for different simulation types. After building the geometry we have a look at some of the simulation options in the FEM simulation container. In most cases it is possible to simulate only a sector of the motor, taking symmetries into account. In order to do this, set sector mode true. The sector will be calculated automatically based on the geometry and winding information. During the load simulation a whole DQ grid is calculated. The current for D and Q direction is given by percent values with respect to the reference current of the nominal torque from the no load simulation.
the global mesh quality for the finite element simulation can be influenced by the mesh scaling parameter. Smaller values result in a finer mesh. If you want to run the simulation, check the respective box in the simulation settings menu and refresh the project once more. A simulation job is sent to the job manager and is either executed locally or on the cluster if you check the remote compute option. When the job is finished successfully the bar turns green and you can fetch the results by refreshing the project. For this you can also use the regenerate all option. Then the starting of the simulations and fetching of the results is done automatically. The results of the simulations can be found in the preview tab of the respective simulation or in the preview of the motor results container. As we can see the torque of the motor exhibits a high cogging torque. To improve this behavior, we set a discrete skewing in 4 steps with 20 degrees. For this we insert the skewing configurator from simulation, motor, magnetic, PMSM into the project and add the computed skewing steps and skewing angle to the imports. Additionally we set the winding pitch to 1 in order to bring the induced voltage closer to a sign form and reduce the torque ripple as well. After we have regenerated the whole project we see that we achieved the expected goal, the cogging torque and the torque ripple were reduced significantly. Now we add basic post-processing components to the project. An evaluation of a load point and the motor characteristics. You can find both in simulation, motor, magnetic, PMSM DQ model. In the load point module you have to set a desired rotation speed and torque.
In the preview of the motor load point you can see the voltages and torque. Check out the demagnetization in the next tab. In the motor characteristics preview, a map for the estimated efficiency is plotted. If the optimize ID checkbox is selected, an optimal current in both D and Q direction is considered. This results in an optimal efficiency. This concludes the SimSpace tutorial on electromagnetic simulation using FEM. Thank you for watching.